Oh boy. What is Chef Grandma serving up today? Yes. She sees my mom, she will make a beeline. Huh? Well, it seems like it's extra special, <laughs> honey. Five star reviews, huh? Mm -hmm. We break out all the stops when Grandma brings out the banana, don't we? My mom, she's a grandmother. And she's like, Malti's hungry. I'm like, no, she's not. <laughs> Her love language is edible, isn't it? Grandma is gonna bulk you up in no time. Mom! Well, that was the last oh, piece. What was I gonna do God. with that? What was I gonna do with that piece? Are you starving to death? Thank God Grandma came over to rescue you, huh? Yeah. I've had Malti since she was a five-week-old hatchling, and now she's six and a half years old. The first year or so, she was almost feral. She was like, go away and never come back. So it took us a while to bond. Do you love to eat? You're headed to the place your mummy specifically told you you couldn't go, aren't you? Did you figure out how to get in all by yourself? She's like, no, mom, it wasn't me. I mean, look at me, I look so innocent. Now, she shocks me with how smart and how very sensitive she is. Boy, I could eat the heck out of that, Mom. Don't you have anything better? Oh, did you inhale your tortoise nutritional powder? So cute. She's always liked to climb. As soon as she figured out that she could do that to make herself taller, she would get closer to the snacks. Up and down. One of your many favorites. Dogs and tortoises, not normally a good combination. Dogs are so curious, tortoises are so interesting, and some animals never learn to get along, but in our family, everybody gets along. Flash Gordon is a year younger than Malti, so he's never known life without Malti. They both have kind of the same motivation. They love with their stomachs. She'll walk right up to him. She wants to see, like, who are you? What's going on over here? She is beloved by my whole family. She follows my mother around. She adores you. Grandma has all of the love right now. His and hers watermelon. His and hers yes. It really just doesn't matter whether we're warm-blooded or cold-blooded. She's teaching me how to walk a mile in her shoes and how to see life through her perspective.